an imperfect person who tries to do the right thing and help others, I decided last fall to meet Leo Blodgett and J.K. Murphy for dinner at the Sport House restaurant. Mm -hmm. Guys, can you please stop talking? Stop talking that bothers me, please. Thank you. I was trying to remain objective and wanted to let Leo Blodgett have his say. For a small period, I was giving Leo the benefit of the doubt. In fact, Leo texted me the day he rocked up his girlfriend and slashed her tires. He trusted me. But what struck me is how Leo promised me if I wanted anything, he'd be there. That seemed like a queer promise for somebody I just met. This was a signal to me that he wanted to avoid getting caught. He then showed me a stack of papers that were about a foot tall. He said they were last month's receipts. The volume of papers was overwhelming. Leo was trying to show me how intimidating it would be to examine them. It was all a big lie. Any confidence I had in him was broken. These weren't the records for the month. He simply stacked every paper he had in his office to scare me off. What I have learned since is that Leo Blasek is a vicious predator who stalks the poor and steals their cars as they do not have the resources to fight. Think of a poor person now. Blasek, his two attorneys, the police, Chief Desoy, <coughs> Mayor Layton, and two attorneys. How, how is it the money supposed to get through to you, Mayor? Amen, brother. So, um, please know that Blazek is not acting alone. This goes right up to Leighton, who, upon my complaint against, um, against Blazek, and, excuse me, um, and despite it being a city contract, he's instructed all the police to say such nonsense to people as it's a civil matter and it's not illegal to show a car. Layton is part of a cover-up on the level of kids for cash. The Citizen's <laughs> Voice quoted a woman who said giving campaign contributions to Layton is a form of legalized bribery. However, she failed to take into account that Layton illegally breaks the contract in Blasek's favor. By letting Blasek charge predatory prices illicitly, the money does serve as an actual bribe, not a legal bribe, because you're breaking the contract illegally. I would next like to list some of Blazik's lies. He told the citizens' voice, I've never charged more than 75, 175. <laughs> I have 23 receipts that show he does. I have no receipts prior to July 22nd. I have 20 receipts before this date. I only accept cash or cashier's check. Except the credit card to 16 of the receipts out of the 23 that I have. And sworn affidavit, he claims the contract says I don't need to keep receipts. Yet the contract clearly shows in a number of places that he must keep records of receipts. I filed per perjury charges against him yesterday. He claimed my account shredded documents every month or so. Yet Mr. Benita, his supposed accountant, swore an affidavit he never sh shredded anything belonging to Glock Plaza. He claimed that the chief of police, DeSoy, told him to shred documents. We have yet to receive confirmation of this. Plaza claims that no records have had to be shredded for confidentiality reasons. Oh, yeah? What do what these look like? This is from Wanda. Copies of driver's licenses. Yeah, he really protects confidentiality. Um, in recent disclosures, he once again lies. His gross margin in December 2011 was negative $700. <coughs> After operating expenses, he would be counting money in the thousands. This is ridiculous. He also, when I was told, he also offered me a fraud proposition. He told me to call the police and have them pick up the tab and lie to them. He didn't see anything wrong with this. And I even have that, um, I took a polygraph to that statement about the AAA. Uh, it says, no deception indicated 0.1%. I'm thankful that people finally compared Lag's records with police records. Thank you, Tony George. In the month and a half I have records for, Lag's records account for only 12% of the cars. What happened to the other cars? 80 are accounted for. Unless you can provide legitimate transfers of titles, these cars are stolen. This is why I, this is why I can easily <coughs> claim that a thousand cars over six or seven years have been stolen. Folks, I promise you, this scam is going to make all other scams look like child's play. Thank you.